The second of my um, important topics that I uh, are always examined by your examiner is the car benefit, which is a topic which is coming under the heading of employment income. So this is the second of our uh, key topics. So first of all, what do you need to know in order to calculate the car benefit? Well, maybe one of the first things is how to recognise it. How to recognise um, this particular topic. So it will obviously be an employment income question, all right, so it will be about somebody who's employed, and it will be talking about the employer providing the employee with a car for personal uh, use. So that's how to recognise it. So it's going to be in probably question one of your exam, or it could be one of the other questions as well. The second key fact is what information do you need to know? So what must you remember? What do you need to remember in order to be able to calculate it? Well, the first thing you need to remember is how to determine the list price. So you need to know the list price. And remember that the list price is the price of the car when it was first registered. The second thing you need to know is the percentage to use in the calculation. And remember that the percentage is based on how much pollution the car produces. And remember that for the purposes of the car benefit, cars can be low emission or medium or high emission. And remember for this purpose uh, that low emission is 120 grams or, or less and medium is more than 120 up to 135 and then high is more than 135. So percentage if it's low emission is 10%, if it's uh, petrol and 13% if it's uh, diesel and if it's medium then it goes up to 15% and 18% for diesel, 3% more and then if it's high emission then the percent is going to go up from 15 or 18 up to a maximum of 35%. So the percentage. When do you have to adjust the car benefit? So when to, we say, prorate it. And remember that all benefits in kind are calculated for a tax year. And if the car is only available for part of the tax year, then you have to uh, adjust the car benefit accordingly. So the next uh, thing you have to know, the next key fact is what tax does an employee pay? And the answer to that question is very, very easy. The, what tax does the employee pay on the car benefit? And the answer to that is income tax. No national insurance has to be paid, all right? So no national insurance for the employee only uh, has to pay income tax. Remember, national insurance is paid, uh, but not by the uh, employee. It's paid by the employer, and it's called Class 1A. The last uh, point I want to mention is how do you calculate the car benefit? So the formula, you need to know the formula, don't you? And the formula is going to be uh, car benefit equals a percentage based on pollution times the list price. Remember, that's when the car was brand new. Times, well, sometimes you have to adjust it for the number of months, so let's call that X over 12, less the amount the employee pays the employer towards the running costs. All right, so... That's the formula. So that's our second one of the list, the car benefit.